very good morning to both of you. It was interesting to hear when you talk about Javi Grazia because this is maybe not uh, 100% relevant, but might give a little bit of context about changing manager. Because before this season, there's been 16 occasions of clubs changing manager when in the uh, Premier League relegation zone with 10 games or fewer remaining, and none of them have survived. Mm. The, the, the trend here is basically if you change your manager too late, nothing changes. Mm. Now, the situation here is that Leeds aren't in the relegation zone, but the, the inference is, is that the improvement won't come between now and the end of the season, even if they make a big change. And look, they've got some tough fixtures to come. Oh, you better believe it, Sam. They're just going over the four fixtures there. I mean, they are tough. The game last night, Sam, I want to ask you about. I was listening to the lads in the build-up, Adrian and Andy, and I think Bente was on as well. Um, and I agreed with them, mate. I, I thought the game would have been, you know, exciting in the respect that they might have had a bit of drama, but I wasn't expecting the quality that we got because it looked a heck of a game, Sam. Wow. It was absolutely outstanding. It was edge of seat stuff from the minute the game kicked off. Both teams slugging it out because I think... They realised, and, and Sean Dyche was a bit playful afterwards when I said to him it was billed as a, a must-win game. And he said, every game's a must-win game. Every game since I've been here is a must-win game. And then when he finished, he had to say, yeah, the next game's a must-win game. <laughs> the problem is, is that they haven't been winning enough of them. And that's why they're in the situ situation that they're in. I mean, look, statistically, they need a hell of a lot of uh, luck to go their way now, uh, Everton and, and, and Leicester City. I think... You know, Leicester maybe will feel as if they're in a slightly better position with the draw. But Everton, I mean, they, you know, 35 points keeps you up in this division. Historically, on average, over the last 10 seasons, that's what you need. That means that Everton need two wins. They've won one of the last 11 games. That's not uh, a great recipe for success going into four very difficult matches. Mm. Um, we've seen it before, but... I always love it when you get a, a little um, glimpse of uh, Jordan Pickford's bottle with all of the signs on it <laughs> and the percentages of which way certain penalty takers are going to go. Um, his homework paid off last night. Madison's penalty. What did you think of it? It was a dreadful penalty. Mm. I, I mean, it, <laughs> as much as I think there was a, a lot down to the fact that, that Jordan Pickford had been told to stay, stay, stay centre on his bottle. I think it said 60% of all Madison's penalties <laughs> go down the middle. I mean, there's going down the middle and there's going down the middle. He didn't catch it right. He he, he, he just, he, he, I think his legs went to jelly right at the, at the very last. He uh, he just didn't get any power in the shot. It was limp. It was It was a tame effort. And um, yeah, it, as a result of that, I think uh, it was uh, it was one of those those penalties that Jordan Pickford couldn't believe was coming his way. He thought, "Yeah, I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. Very nice." Mm. And just patted it away rather easily. It was a big moment, massive moment in the season because if Leicester City go three one in front at that stage, bearing in mind the lack of goals that Everton have got, then there's every chance that that game runs away from from Everton. And it, it's over. So it was it was crucial. So look, if it's down to the fact that he's Got the research given to him and Sean Dyche did say, you know, most managers will do that, provide the players with the information uh, that they require in those situations. Then, 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 then fair play to them. It's those small marginal gains, but it was a big moment. Yeah. Um, Sam, I'm going yes. to ask you to put your <laughs> predictions out into the ether now and tell me who you think <laughs> your bottom three are. Come on, you know, last week is not a very uh, good barometer yes. of whether or not my, my predictions are going to, to come to fruition. Although we did get all all, all the result, results right, didn't we? It was just did, the, yeah. the actual goal scorers that were a bit of a... Ali showed uh, you up there. Issue. You were up yeah, against some, and in scorers. your defence, Sam, you were up against some fierce competition over the course. I was, I really was, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> come on then, I know you're trying to get nice out of it. European <laughs> golden shoe, uh, um, look, it's, it's, it's on a knife edge, isn't it? Um, Southampton? I, I, listen, the one thing I'll confidently predict is that Southampton will get relegated. Got it. Um, I think Nottingham Forest are in a situation where they, they seem to be slightly unfortunate, but I've predicted all along that they'll stay up, and I just think there's two results in them. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. They've got a massive game next Monday night live on Talk Sport when they play Southampton. Yeah. I think that's huge. I think if they get a victory there, then they'll only need one more victory to stay in the league in their final three games. It's ifs, buts, and maybes, but... I think nothing for it. I think they're going to get out of that. Don't don't. It's, it's, there's no logic to that. It's just a feeling. I think Leeds are in massive, massive trouble, and I think Everton are too. So I'm going to go Leeds, Everton, and Southampton. And I listen. I, I don't want either Leeds or Everton to go. Um, for me, in particular proximity, it's great yeah. to have them on the doorstep. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I do fear for Everton. And listen, 1951, the last time they were relegated, it's yeah. going to be a big thing. But if you circle the drain long enough, eventually you go down the plug hole. 
Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.